Hey, Blake here, and I'm shipping out Astronomy in the Bible. Sold it for $19 to a buyer in Portland, Oregon. And we're going to ship this right now. And I'm going to show you how I ship this book to make sure it arrives safely. Uh, obviously, if it's a high-value book, I'm going to put it in bubble wrap and I'm going to put it in a box. But for 20 bucks, I think it's fine, especially with this existing damage to the cover, to do this way. So I've got eBay pulled up. I'm on my ship order page. This book weighs, uh, I don't know how much it weighs. It weighs less than a pound. I know that for sure. So I'm putting in one pound as the weight, uh, and that'll give us the lowest media mail price. As of time of filming, that lowest media mail price is $3.65. So we're going to buy the label right now. And while it's printing off on my label printer, I've got a Zebra LP2844 which is an old label printer. They stopped making those like 10 years ago, but it still works fine for me. It's like a Toyota truck, just an absolute workhorse. Uh, what I have to do is I have to resize the label to be 90% of its original size. I don't know why, that's just what it takes to do. And it doesn't impact its ability to get scanned or anything, so I don't think it's a big deal. I uh, start at one corner of the paper and I fold over and over again, and then I fold both these extra flaps on one side, and that gives us a bit of a cushiony base. And then this goes in a 10 by 13 poly mailer. It's gonna go sideways. It looks nice just to be kind of neatly uh, folded over, kind of like a pastry. You fold it over, use the self-adhesive side, and uh, this is where the extra flaps are. That's the bottom side. I think that's just a little bit of extra protection. Pull the label off, slap the label on the top side, and there you have it. A perfectly safe book, ready to get shipped.